Today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Wind Booster throttle controller for my 2010 Ram 1500. I'm excited to get some more stuff rolling on the Ram. I love that truck. It just doesn't get enough tension anymore with all the other stuff going on. So we finally got a mod. Wind Booster sent me this, sent me a bunch of stickers. Thanks so much to Wind Booster for sending this out. And this is a little different. I had one of these before. Now that was one off of eBay that was 60 bucks and it it lasted two years and it didn't have an app or anything, but this one, this one seems to have an app that we can use. You see there, up here you go, little things. I already have the app installed. So this is what it looks like, a little wind booster GT. No way. Don't tell me this is a GT edition. And then we go deeper in the box and we got our little system here. Now I've installed this before too, it's very simple. As long as you have the one that's proper for your vehicle. That'll go to your wind booster there. All you have to do, plug it in in between and you're golden. So we scoot under here. Now, right, where is she? right there, there it is, this guy. All you do, pop it out, it's that simple. One hand can do it. Pop this guy in, all, all the way up there, about that guy. <laughs> Boom, click your red tab down so the thing doesn't fly out. And then plug this into your cord that you just took out. All you're doing basically is putting something in between your throttle and pedal. So put this down for a sec. I'm just gonna put these two together. You see right here, just can't do it with you guys with one hand. Right there, these two go together. That's it for under here. It takes like two seconds to install. Uh, you could zap it, zap strap it wherever you want. Just run the wire, probably like up here or something. Then just, oh my freaking hands over the camera. What is this, Ricky? Run your wire up and plug it in wherever you want. So guys, this literally could be like a three minute install. Like it's probably one of the easiest things, easiest mods you can do. And it just lets you have a little fun with your vehicle. Where do we want it? You know, where, let's get a little, let's get a little spicy with it here. Uh, I already got my sticker there. I'm gonna go like that. <laughs> right there, it's not a bad spot. Pretty good, am I knee gonna hit it? No. Nope. Yeah, kinda out of the way. Okay, let's do that. Make sure you wipe it. Hopefully it sticks. It's not really a great sticking spot. It's got some sticky tape on the back, which is really nice. Stick it wherever you want. It's pretty strong, nice. Okay, we got it on. Let's get it all plugged in here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go underneath, guys, and uh, tuck all my wiring. Let's turn this beast on and see what we got going on here. Now, oh, I kind of freaking totally forgot my keys go there. That's fine. Freaking what a dumb spot, eh? <laughs> That's my bad. All right. Oh my gosh, can we get some proper film? Okay, normal. Mode, normal, sport. Okay, a little sport mode. Drag mode, what? Ballet. I would like econ, that's where I'd like to be for daily driving. That's what I did with my old one, so. There's all your modes. Now let's take it on the street and see what kind of difference it makes. We'll start in normal. While the truck warms up here, you might be wondering if you don't know, why would you want a throttle controller and what does it do? So basically in normal mode, it's gonna be the same as always. So you're not gonna notice a difference. In eco mode, it's gonna make you push your foot down on the pedal more further before you get any power in sport mode, drag mode, all those ones, when you barely push the throttle, you're gonna be at like foot to the floor equivalent. All it's doing is changing how much you push the pedal basically. Now in eco mode, the, the thing it's trying to get you to do is drive slower, essentially. You have to push the freaking pedal all the way to the floor to move. <laughs> so essentially what's trying to get you to do is like, oh, you're in this mode, you should drive like a grandma. You wanna get that power down quick if you're racing, so you put it in race mode, you touch the throttle a sliver, you're getting way more response from the pedal. It's a pretty cool little thing. It's just your pedal, that's all you're changing. It doesn't affect the truck at all. My last throttle controller um, gimped out after two years. All it did was put me in limp mode. So I took it out, plugged my regular truck back together, completely fine. So we are starting in normal here, not noticing any difference. So let's go ahead and change it into sport mode. Okay, so we're in sport mode now feeling like a good setting you know you want a little pep in your step it feels pretty good sport I can tell a difference you can you can notice this right away guys it's 
uh, when you're driving. Obviously, you guys probably can't tell, but I'm I'm gonna be putting my foot in the same spot every time. This is a little a little throttle trigger. Now, what I'm liking is my ram. It's getting a little older. It's not the same throttle response as I'd like. So in this sport mode, it's more of a, what my truck should be. In normal mode, it's a bit laggy. In this one, it feels like my truck's a bit newer. That's what I would baseline this uh, first mode off of. Let's go on to the next one here. Sport Plus. <laughs> okay, my truck's loud, so you guys can probably hear that. This is me barely pushing the throttle. And it's hauling. Like, that's the same as in sport. I barely push it. I'm like rev bombing. So you guys want that get up and go. You got Sport Plus. Let's try the next mode here. Uh, we'll turn around first before we freaking blow through the traffic sign and jump the bridge that's not there. That'll be a good video though. Maybe we should do that. Let's try a little race mode, shall we? All right, this is race. Oh, barely tapping the throttle. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry, my my language there. I haven't had one of these in a while. I forgot what they do. This is race mode, and that's the same amount of throttle I've been using. And we just flew. Let's uh let's see if we can get the windows down here. So you guys can hear. So this is this is a little throttle. Woo! So that's race mode. Now I, I'm wondering how it can get crazier than that. We have a drag mode. I don't really know what that does. Let's see what drag mode does here. All right, this is this is we're we're in drag mode right now. Now it's it's even crazier. <laughs> Holy, my truck's gonna freaking explode! Holy. Okay, so drag mode. We're talking even less than race mode. You barely push the throttle, and you're absolutely foot to the floor essentially. So it's so torquey. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but what just happened there, I was turning a corner in drag mode and I'm trying to barely touch the throttle and it's jerking me back and forth because it thinks the foot's to the floor when I'm turning the corner. That's exactly what it's thinking. This is really cool. I've always enjoyed these. I'm really happy to have one again. It's, it's really exciting because I've had one before. It gimped out. I hope this one doesn't gimp out after two years. Like I'm not trying to rev it. And it's, we're flying, essentially. Holy. I miss this thing. I miss it. I do. Whew. Lots of construction here. What the? Guys, get off my drag strip. Man, the truck sounds good, though. But I, I'm not even kidding, guys. Look at this. So I'll show you the pedal here. You guys can see it. So. <laughs> Look at my foot. You can see my foot there barely touching it that's like equivalent to full throttle it is cool technology though i do like it a lot i'd recommend um buying one if you want to get some pep in your truck step or your car doesn't matter whatever you're driving doesn't matter there's one for every vehicle i'm pretty sure eco okay let's feel eco here oh my <laughs> okay eco remember eco is supposed to make you drive like a granny now let's watch the travel of my foot here so i'm gonna get you guys down there again now Let's get on, let's get on a freaking main road here before we start flying. But look at my foot. My foot's halfway down, essentially. And it's barely moving. I'm turning left here. Now let's, if you want a little, this is eco mode, a little juice. Hard to show you guys, but you gotta trust me when I am explaining it, that it makes a huge difference. So let's go, let's get some outside shots here, this old sucker. Who drive bys in, different modes I guess it doesn't really matter but I want to hear this puppy out singing out on the road here all right let's do it I'd like to point out that I'm going the speed limit when I do these tests. 
and this thing freaking rips in race mode like barely put the foot down that's the one i'm kind of liking for like quickness race mode i'll use race mode for kind of if i want to be you know a little nimble a little nimble if i want to be kind of what i think this truck should be i'll be in sport sport plus around there and then if i want to save gas i'll put an eco it's not the craziest thing for saving gas but it'll help a little bit that's what i used to run it in so let's get some more shots here eh? finish the video i'll take a look at the app but i i want to talk about it a little bit get these windows closed so we're not blast in the freaking exhaust into my ear holes all right so i'm in eco mode now i messed around with some race and some drag it's crazy like you get instant power and that last flyby was in drag and like you could tell i was stopped but i just barely pushed the throttle and you just fly now i'm in eco mode so going from drag to eco mode it's a crazy night and day difference. Like I gotta push my foot so far to even move. I definitely recommend it guys, if it's really fun and it's it's a good upgrade to do if you wanna find something that'll change your truck in the sense of a tune. It's obviously not a tune, but it is a, it is a lot of fun. I did miss it. I completely forgot how much fun it was. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna stay in eco really uh, unless I feel the need to go into drag when when a freaking Lambo pulls up next to me and I gotta send him the Gapplebees. Cause this thing's got 400 horse. I mean, you unleash the Hemi power, like she goes. I'm not quite sold on the eco mode thing. It just makes you drive slower, but you have to drive slower. It's up to you. You can still drive like a freaking race car driver in eco mode. It's not like stopping you. <laughs> Before we check the app, I just put the stickers on. I got a bunch of them. So I put one on both sides. Holy truck looks like a race truck now. On both sides here, we got the stickers. Looks awesome. On the app here, you can see we got all the same settings that you have on the device. And then below that bar, you can raise that up and down to get like your sensitivity, kind of make like a custom mode. Hop into the settings here, bunch of settings. The one I'm really interested in is the lock setting. So we're gonna check that one out. I'm gonna put it into the lock mode on the app and then we'll come back and see if it's locked. Back on the app here, going to the lock setting. First time I typed it in, it's making your password. So that's what I did here, just 111. And then the second time, it's actually gonna lock it. So I put my password in again, then it takes you here, and it shows you that it's locked. So it's in lock, as you guys can see. Let's see if we can use it. Whew, that's, that's actually sick. Look at that. We're in lock, we're in reverse. We're not going anywhere. Dang, that's a pretty cool mod. I can't rev it at all. We're in park now. As you can see, we're in park. I can't rev it at all. So let's unlock it. Let's just type your password back in and it unlocks. Just unlocked it there. Reverse. Ooh, that is cool. That is cool. I like that feature. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really enjoyed making it on the Wind Booster. It was a lot of fun. And thank you so much to Wind Booster for sending that out. If you guys are interested in this, I have a 15% off discount code that'll be Carfleet. It'll also be in the description below as long with the link to the website. I think the product's great so far. My last one lasted two years. I hope this one lasts longer, but only time will tell. So thank you guys so much and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.